everyone, this is Laura from Printavo, and I'm going to show you today how to use Zapier to have a new customer in Printavo show up in your MailChimp mailing list. So we're gonna start off with the Zapier homepage and just make a new Zap. So first you're gonna to wanna to choose your trigger app. So in this case, it'll be Printavo because you want the trigger of this Zap to be when a new customer is created. So you select new customer, and then make sure your Printavo account populates here, and if for some reason this is not yours, you can uh, connect a different account, but this one's mine. It's gonna test it to make sure it's linked. And then you're just gonna pick a sample uh, to test this SAP. So this just pulls random contacts that you have in uh, your Printavo account already. It just pulls it just to do a bit of test. So now you're gonna wanna add your action app. So in this case, it'll be MailChimp because you want the end goal of this to be when you put a new customer uh, into your contact list in your Printavo account, have that information automatically sent to MailChimp. Just go to MailChimp, add update subscriber. You wanna select the correct MailChimp account. So let's do my personal one, give it a quick little test. Now this page is uh, how the two apps are connected. So it's kind of mapping this zap out. So you wanna select the list that you want that new customer contact to go into. So if you have multiple lists, you can select them here. I only have this one, so we'll select that. And then subscriber email, uh, you're gonna to wanna to select email. So this is in the new customer information. It'll have all your customer information here. You just wanna, you just want that email to be pulled. And you can do some customization here as well, uh, but we're just gonna keep it simple and just have the email directly go to MailChimp. So continue. And so now it's going to kind of show you what it's gonna look like. So it has the list uh, populated here. It has the email of your new contact and you're gonna to wanna to send it to MailChimp. See if it works. All right, so a test subscriber was sent to your MailChimp. So then you wanna go I always just want to see if it worked, you know. So this is the test list I had. Notice zero subscribers. I'll refresh it. And look, one new subscriber. And it'll show you that email that I inputted populates in here under this new list. So it looks like the zap worked. So you can hit finish and just name your zap. So just do new whoops, customer to MailChimp. Turn that zap on. And then you can view it right here in your dashboard on Zapier. And you can turn that on and off as needed.